Jesus Christ. Come on. Hey. Hi. 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 Hi, Harriet. Harriet, this is Sal Burns. Sal, this is Harriet. Hi. Hi. Uh... So you want to drive first or? Uh, no, no, you, you can go first. Okay. calculated it it's an 18 hour drive we can split it up to six shifts of three hours um, or we can split it in between mileage whatever you prefer um, you want to do three hours uh, paprika oh no thanks I don't like to eat between meals oh God, I hope this is not gonna be one of those long drives with a lot of long awkward silences yeah me too So, tell me your life story. My life story? I, yeah. I, I, it's like 18 hours to London. We can get through a lot of material. Uh, my life story couldn't even take us out of Berlin. I mean, nothing really interesting has ha happened to me. Um, that's sort of why I'm moving to uh, London, actually. So something interesting can happen to you? Y um, yeah, yeah. Like what? Um, I, I'm going to uh, journalism school to become a reporter, actually. So you can write about what happens to other people? Uh, that's one way to put it. Okay, so say nothing happens to you. You live there your whole life, nothing ever happens, you never meet anyone, you never become anything, and then you die one of those horrible London deaths where, you know, no one even knows until the smell hits the hallway. What then? So, uh, Amanda mentioned you had a, had a dark side? I suppose that's why we're friends. Because of your dark side? Yeah, what, well, you don't have a dark side? <laughs> no, I guess you're one of those guys who's always nice to everyone, helps people with their homework, helps old ladies at the grocery store. I'll, I'll have you know, I, I have as much dark side as the next person. Yeah, sure you do. No, look, um, when I buy a book, I read the last page first, just so that in case I die, I know how the book ends. That, my friend, is a dark side. But but that, that doesn't make you a better person. I mean, I... I, I'm I'm basically happy. Yeah, so am I. A and there's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. No, of course you don't think there's anything wrong with that. You're just too busy being happy. Do you even think about death? Of course I do. Yeah, sure you do. So what are you doing in London? Well, I just graduated from law school. I'm gonna get an internship. Hopefully, then get a permanent position. You, sh you should be a lawyer, the, the, the kind that represents criminals. Uh, I, I think you'd really do a really go good job defending them. <laughs> okay. He wanted her to get on the plane. That's why. He, that's why he made her get on the plane in the end. But but I don't. I didn't think she wanted to stay. Of course she wanted to stay. Wouldn't you rather be with Humphrey Bogart than that other guy? I wouldn't want to live my entire life at Cas Casablanca with a man who runs a bar. Like, I, that, might be, that might be preachy on my part, but that's just me. You'd rather be in a passionless marriage... A and be the first woman of Czechoslovakia. ...than live with a man whom you've had the greatest sex of your life with just because he owns a bar and nothing more? Yes, yes, I, I, I do think so, and I think any woman in her right mind would agree with me. Like, women are very practical, and... Even Ingrid Bergman, 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 even she ex accepts that when she gets on the plane. So, so there. Oh, I see what it is. <laughs> what? Nothing. So what? Uh, obviously, you haven't had great sex yet. 
Personal business. Okay, fine. Gertrude Gordon. No. Gertrude? Yeah, yes. You have not had great sex with a Gertrude. Yes, I have. No, I'm sorry. Gertrude can do your taxes. If you needed a root canal, Gertrude's your gal. But Gertrude, between the sheets, that's not her strong suit. No. Uh, I love you, Gertrude. I can't get enough of you, Gertrude. It doesn't work. What can I get you? Um, I'll have a number three, please. Okay. Um, could I have uh, the apple pie on board? Yes. But could you heat it up, please? And I don't want the ice cream on top, I want on the side. And if you have strawberry ice cream instead of vanilla ice cream, but if you don't, then whipped cream. But only if the whipped cream is fresh. I don't want anything from the can. If so, then nothing. Nothing at all? Uh, no, the pie, but not, not even. What? Nothing. I mean, you just you just know what you want, right? Okay, change the topic. So how come you broke up with Gertrude and got with Amanda if you two had such great sex? And why are you here with me now? Then? First of all, I'm not here with you. Second, it's none of your business why we broke up. You're right. You're right. I don't want to know. I mean, if, if you must know, it's because she was really jealous and I also had these days of the week underpants. <laughs> okay, ding ding ding, judge is ruling on this. You had days of the week underpants? <laughs> I didn't know they made those for adults. I thought they were sort of funny. And one day she actually said to me, and one day she told me, you, you never wear Sunday. Where is Sunday? She started to get suspicious. Where did I leave Sunday? And then when I told her, she didn't believe me. What? That they don't make Sunday. Why not? Be because it's the Lord's Day. And that's why you two broke up? Yes. <laughs> I guess Amanda can understand your list. So, how many people have you had sex with? I'm not telling you. Okay, fine. Don't tell me. Two. You've been with two women, and based on these two women, you can tell me whether you or not you've had brain sex. Well, how many have you? Uh, I don't know. You, what do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Is it between one and three, four and ten, ten and a hundred? Ten and a hundred. If it's closer to a hundred or closer to ten? Closer to ten. Me to pay for you, or... Did you know that you're a very attractive person? <laughs> well, thanks. You too. Um, Amanda never said you were, that, you were this attractive. Yeah, I wonder why she doesn't have this opinion. Opinion aside, empirically, you are attractive. Well, oh, thanks. Well, if you think that, then why don't we get to know each other better in London? Harriet, Amanda is my girlfriend. So? So that, I, that means I'm with her. So? That, that means you, you just hit on me. No, what? No, a woman can't say that she wants to spend more time with a man without, being, without it being a come on. Okay, fine. Let's say, just for argument's purposes, that it was a come on. Then what? I'm not gonna take it back. I just can't deal with it. Why not? It's It puts me in an uncomfortable position. What do you mean? <laughs> so what we call the cops now? What do you, How do you wanna... It's already out there. Let, 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 let's let it lie. Let's just leave it out there. Fine. Okay, yeah. We can let it lie. <sighs> so you wanna spend the night in a motel or what? <laughs> See what I did there? I said Harriet. that I was going to let it lie, and then I didn't let Harriet. it lie, and then I did it in another way. Harriet. Yeah? We're just going to be friends. 
Just friends. Okay, that's it. Fine. That's it. Yeah. Done. Friends. Okay. Great. Maybe you're friends with benefits. <sighs> you realize though that we can never be friends. Men and women can never be friends. Mm, what do you mean? Okay, I'm saying this, and I don't mean this in a come on in any sort of way. But men and women can never be friends because sex always gets in the way. No, no. I, I mean, I I have plenty of girlfriends, and there's no sex involved. It's it's because they respect that I have a girlfriend. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah. no, they don't. Yeah. No, they don't. Yes, they do. You only think that they do. So, so you're telling me that I'm having sex with these women without my knowledge? No, what I'm saying is that they all want to have sex with you. They do not. They do too. They do not. They do too. How would you know? Because no woman is going to be friends with a man she finds attractive. They're always going to have sex with them. So... So a woman can be friends with the man they find unattractive? Mm, no, you pretty much want to sleep with them too. What if they don't want to have sex with you? No, see, that doesn't matter. The sex thing is already out there. The relationship, the friendship is doomed. And that's the end of the story. So that means we can't be friends then, right? I guess not. Hmm. It's a shame too. You're the only person new in London.